Well, that's all well and good for the real world, but we're here for video games. So how can I use this eye tracker when I'm playing? Yes, all about gaming here today. Uh, so it's a bit different depending on what games we're talking about. If we're talking about RTS games, the obvious thing is to get faster, to use eye tracking to accelerate your game. But you can also use it actually to analyze the game, to see, OK, where are the, where are the players actually looking on screen? Uh, are they looking at the minimap? Did they miss this or did they miss that? So that's if we're looking at the, at the RTS. If we're looking at FPS games, well, you could actually shoot where you're looking on the screen if you want to shoot people. Or if you're playing a team game, you could actually, instead of trying to explain where a person should move, you could just look at a place, send that gaze position to your teammates, and he had automatically knows you're just telling him go there, and you're sending the gaze point to that guy, and you would actually very easily know where you mean. Uh, looking into uh, football games, or you're playing NHL, or you're playing FIFA, just looking at your your uh, fellow player and you're just passing to him automatically without having to choose. Yes. So James is going to play here soon uh, and he's going to basically do three different uh, uh, things in the, in the StarCraft game here using his gaze. Uh, the first thing being what we call the gaze warp and that means that by pressing a button he actually enlarges the minimap and by just looking on the minimap he will warp to that position so he doesn't need to use the mouse or anything he's just using his gaze. Number one. Number two being instant pan. And that's a very simple thing that you just, by clicking a button, you're just centering the screen where you're looking. So very, very quick and just recentering the screen exactly where you're looking. And the final one being the instant action. And that means that you actually can move a unit to where you're looking. So if you have marked a unit or an army and you just look on a spot and you press the move button or the attack button or the patrol button, but that means that you can move to exact the position where you're looking without moving around with the mouse. Well, that sounds all well and good, but I'm going to need to see this in practice because it's a little hard for me to conceive. So what we actually have set up over here is James. He's going to be playing a StarCraft II campaign. We're going to have a camera on his hand. You're going to see he's not going to need that. A camera on his eyes to see where he's looking. And then we're going to watch him play this game. And he's going to tell us exactly what he's doing. James, are you ready? Yep, sure, sounds good. Uh, OK, so there's three things I want to demonstrate. Obviously, a, bit, a little bit been outlined already. Uh, the first one is our gaze warping, as it were. Basically, if I look up to the top on our minimap, it should take me all the way up there. And then I will go back to the minimap here. A uh, special little overlay that has been produced for this, and then I can go better. straight back to my units. So I'll do that again, go straight up to here, and then look down and go straight back. Next, I can easily go and move command. Uh, once it actually wants to be cooperative, there we go. So I can move wherever I'm looking and make that quite nice. Uh, I can even attack. So we'll be able to take out this uh, in our first mission of campaign. So for now, we're going to move on forwards up here. And the next tool is something called panning, which we use another mouse button here to actually just pan in the direction that I'm actually looking. So if I look up to the top of the screen, I can actually pan in that direction. I'll pan up to the top left-hand corner, and there we go. So can constantly still move around. We'll advance on. And you can actually complete uh, situations like this pretty easily with this technology. And we'll keep going around, keep panning around as well. As you can see, the mouse isn't moving at all. Just using the buttons on the mouse purely as demonstration, as that does trigger some of the functionality that uh, does come along with this. So we'll attack over here. Let's just move that on. And take out a few more Marines here on our first game. So as I said before, there's three big functionalities. There's the warp gazing. You can actually select extra units with this. Let me just see if I can allow that to work out. So we can bind those to our cock here as well there. And for now, we can continue moving on and maybe even kill some more things. Now, as a, a former competitive player, as someone who examines a lot of StarCraft, how do you think this can actually be applied to StarCraft 2? Well, um, obviously, uh, being in beta, uh, 
prototype right now. It's not pinpoint accurate, but if things like uh, aim assists were actually in there, that would help out a lot as well. Um, and in the end, you could actually gain a lot of speed if, if you were able to just basically look at units and select them in that fashion. Obviously, people are very, very used to mice right now. That's something that you know it would take a little bit of, bit of time to get used to. But in the grand scheme of things, you could actually speed up. And I think you should see it as not as a replacement of the mouse, yeah. but actually today you're using two inputs. You're using the keyboard and you're using the mouse. But with, with Gaze, you also have a third input, and that's using your eyes to point to it. So you can actually perform three commands at the same time instead of two commands at the same time. Exactly. It's like an augmentation, right? Yes. It's there. It's another tool that's going to be able to help gamers uh, advance on that little bit further. And then you can add extra dynamics to games that could have never been possible before without an actual person's vision coming into play. Yes. I think one of the things I'm most excited for is for you guys to get in development. I want to play a game that's based entirely around eye tracking. So when it comes to building a product and having a product out there, would you have a request or a, a feature that you would like to see in this product? I think the aim assist is something that would be extremely useful. I mean, it's already implemented in consoles uh, quite a bit in terms of things like Call of Duty and being able to play that and stuff. Uh, but for the most part, that would really, really help this product um, in order to just be able to select things a little easier. Uh, and then also, in terms of StarCraft, personal wish would be the, the ability to actually box things. So hold down a specific uh, command, look in one location, look in the second location, and then have a box that selects all the units within that box. All right, thank you. So